How do you run the Google unit test in order to check your assignment? Uh, the first one and also the one that the ones that will follow. So you open Visual Studio 2019 and um, we use the same um, create new project option. But instead of going for an empty project, you have here uh, Google, okay? If you search for Google, you see this is the only project that has the name, the Google name in it. And uh, generally you have this because you install the C++ uh, module, okay? So you don't need to do extra stuff. You already have it in Visual Studio 2019. So I would go for a Google test, okay? I would save it here. And uh, let's say this is uh, assignment one. Assignment one, okay? So this will be my project for assignment one. Now, it will ask you how do you want to import uh, the Google library. So always go for uh, defaults, static library link dynamic for C++. Okay, and what you will see now, it's a, it's a standard Google test project. So you will see this. It's like a Visual Studio project. It's called assignment one. Okay, and here we have um, uh, some predefined uh, files. You recognize test CPP, which uh, contains a, a dummy test. And this test is provided just to, to be able to run something in order to verify that the project has been created uh, without problems. And you have these uh, PCH uh, headers, so don't change them because this project needs that stuff. Uh, at some point here, it's included, uh, you see it's included the Google test library. Okay, so uh, if I run this project, like a normal project from here, you will see this uh, window. It, what it shows me is that how many tests have been executed, okay? You see there is a correlation here between this name and the test inside the test CPP file. It's saying me that the test has been okay, which means the whatever we are testing is executing accordingly with the specifications. So we check the results and they are okay. And this is a statistic, okay, for the entire sequence. Now here we have only one, uh, one uh, test. Okay, so how do you import uh, your assignment project here? Okay, so if you go back to Visual Studio, to the project, this is the test. Now, you, you have received through the classroom assignment two files. And I open, already opened them in Visual Studio Code, or you can open them in Noted++. These they are. So you have received the tests, and there are 12 tests here. And now what you do is actually select all, control A, right click copy or control uh, C. And now you switch to Visual Studio where you have this, control A, control V or right click paste. So now you have uh, copied all the tests here in, the, um, in your test CPP file from the Google test project. Now you have compiler errors for this file and these functions because obviously they, they are not uh, or, uh, present in the project. So the compiler doesn't know who withdraw is. So what do you do next? And here it's a problem. Uh, I really recommend you to go for the, let's say manual copying. Here you have, if you right click here, you have add uh, existing item. So when you do that, uh, it's not actually bringing the file here in the project. It's keeping the file in downloads where wherever you download it from classroom and you may have other problems. So what I recommend you is to actually create here a new file in your this project, add new item. Now you can call it whatever name you like uh, and uh, choose a header file. So I will call it as the one that I got assignment, okay, or assignment one. Let's see, you have the name here, you see assignment one, let's call it assignment one. Okay, uh, add, and in this file, go to the downloaded file again, 
the assignment1.h, this one that has the requirements for the assignment. Once again, control A, right key copy or control C, go back to Visual Studio here and paste everything after the pragma ones, paste. And that's it, that's all. Now, uh, if you created here a file with a different name, you need to update the name here. You will have a compiler error here. So if somehow you created the .h file with a different name, uh, you need to update this line, okay, to include that .h. So build rebuild to be sure that everything is okay, and that's it. Now, if you run this, you will see that in the test CPP now there are 12 tests. What do you do next? You move to .h, you start writing code in those functions, and you go back, run the tests when you don't have compiler errors. And generally verify which tests have failed because these tests are actually telling you which scenario you have not uh, implemented in that method, okay? And actually, you can actually check the tests. There is no secret. Here they are to see which is the value that uh, I expect from you if you have implemented uh, the function correctly. 